We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats, gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge, and the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't, said the medium-sized billy goat. There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, I said. Come on. We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge. But sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry, I thought. He's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss and I made mossy slippers for the little billy goat. Mossy slippers for the medium-sized billy goat. And mossy slippers for the big billy goat. Oh yes, and I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself too. <laughs> Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad, pad, padded across the bridge, and the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field that they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs, so that he'd never, ever be disturbed by trip, trip, trapping. Little Cook's at a rescue once again! That was a great adventure!